Welcome back to Talk Today. It's coming up to 10 minutes to nine. Now, later this morning, the Ministry of Defence will publish their annual report on veterans who've died by suicide. Well, let's speak to former Lance Corporal Ricky Drury, who, after receiving help himself, now supports other ex-servicemen with their mental health through his social media page. Also joining us is former veteran Paul Schilling, director of Operation Jackdaw, who founded the camping experience that supports veterans after realising the huge benefits uh, while camping with ex-servicemen had on his own mental health. Thank you so much, uh, both, of, uh, both of you, for joining us. Paul, uh, just to explain to us the situation. You, you leave the army and suddenly there's this whole life change to come, which can for many people be quite debilitating and a source of anxiety and stress. What did you find? Yeah, so for me personally, I think and a lot of veterans will agree with me on this, is that when you leave the forces, you you kind of, you're obviously, you, you're trained to be a soldier and the army put a lot of effort in, into training you to be a soldier. And then suddenly when you leave, you're pretty much out on, you know, you're out on the, the streets and from going from this environment where you're with, you're with everyone, you get, you get your part one orders, so you get your, you know, your orders for what you're going to be up to, you got, Everything provided, your uniform, your food, your accommodation, everything's provided for you. And suddenly you're, you're out in this big wide world. And that, this is without any even going to, to war. This is just the adjusting to civilian life is just so hard. And I don't think many soldiers do adjust back to civilian life. And it causes that's why a lot of homeless veterans are out there on the streets because they, they end up turning to drink and that. Um, drugs sometimes and they end up on the streets losing the wives and I think that definitely has a, a role to play. And Paul, can you just talk about the reason why you founded Operation Jackdaw and also your personal experience of mental health issues, not just for yourself, but other people that you work with in the army? Um, yeah, literally what Ricky says is is dead on and um, uh, a couple of years after leaving the army, the, my mental health went downhill because it's right what he said that um, you're all trained throughout the army, but the army doesn't pretty much retrain you to go back in civilian street. So um, when you're working in the civilian environment, um, you don't have a release. So we've set up an organisation in Kent uh, to get veterans along, to get them out, uh, talk to each other, because that's that's the main problem with mental health. Uh, and obviously veterans, veterans don't like to ask for support. Uh, and, you know... Um, so these guys come along, they do these camps with us. Uh, we go through bushcraft, we get them back out doing wild camping. Um, yeah, and, it, and it's good for them. I think we, you know, we know we're going a year. Uh, we're self-funded. We have a lot of help from the army. Uh, my regiment, Princess Wales Royal Regiment, they do a lot of support for us as well. Um, we just want to help as many veterans as possible because it's free to come along. Uh, myself and the majority of the team uh, are all actually school teachers. Ricky, what was interesting is your analysis that actually as a veteran maybe it's a sign of weakness to say I need help so how do you kind of tackle that narrative to say no actually it's really urgent and important that you do exactly the opposite 